The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by High Stick NT, Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans, and Pride Seeds. You guys are about to launch the 100 bushel initiative in soybeans, which is a building on your 300 bushel yep. advantage for corn. Yep. Tell us about the new program. Well, what we want to do is uh, we want to try and reach that 100 bushel uh, the acre on soybeans. Uh, we've done a lot of work working on corn, so we thought, you know, the next obvious step is to work with soybeans. So last year we saw some fantastic yields, uh, some field averages over 80 bushel, as well as seeing a bunch of spots in fields hitting over 100 bushel. So what we really want to do is let's see if we can make that work across that whole 10 acres and eventually work into a whole field concept on how we can push soybean yields and reach that 100 bushel marker on a, on a full scale field average. Hey, now talk, talk about some of the things that you're, you're, you're going to key in, and, you know, whether it be populations, whether, you know, what yeah. are some of the key parameters? So what we want to do, uh, uh, the first thing obviously is choosing the right varieties for the right fields, uh, making sure those fields have excellent fertility to work with. Um, also we want to work with plant early, there's a big, big advantage to planting early into, into proper soil conditions, so warm soil, making sure that soybean gets a first good shot of, of warm water in that first 6 to 24 hours. Because it's been seen that every day after the optimum planting date for your area, uh, we're going to lose half a bushel of the acre almost in yield. So what we want to do is, is work with planting early, do uh, the right varieties for the right fields, making sure we have the right uh, seed treatments on there, working with Cruiser Max Vibrance, as well as uh, soybean inoculant high, high stick uh, NT from Becker Underwood, which uh, is also very key. And then throughout the season, we're going to push the population when we're planting, increase by 15%, hopefully, uh, which will then make uh, make a bit of a difference, extra beans. And then we want to go with headline uh, at uh, that R1, early R2 stage, mixed with a liquid potassium. Um, there's been seen a, a big advantage to that for, for yield. Um, and then following that through and hoping we can make that across the full 10 acres, make that 100 bushel soybean. So tell us finally, where, uh, where are we going to see the plots uh, across southwestern Ontario? How many plots? Yeah, so we're, we're hoping to work with about 30 growers across southwestern Ontario, all soil conditions, all soil types, and maturity groupings. Um, so right from uh, the southwest Chatham area all the way up into uh, eastern Ontario. So uh, we should have a good broad spectrum of soil type and grower type to be able to see what we can hit. And, uh, and I'm really looking forward to working with this year. I'm very excited because we haven't done a lot of work with soybeans and I think there's excellent opportunity there to really push yield in soybeans that we haven't worked on in the past. Well, good stuff. Uh, we'll follow along this summer, look for some results in the fall. Yeah, I'm very excited and I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.